What is up guys, Johnny here back with another Call of Duty Mobile video today. Call of Duty Mobile update news for season four, but also for season five. They did say something about season five yesterday on the official community update on Reddit and Discord. So we have a lot to talk about today. And the main point we want to address today is paid content versus free content. The pay to win weapons, as some people call them, and how they plan to introduce them into the game in the near future. So let's go into it, guys. Before we start, smash the like right now if you enjoyed these videos, but also subscribe to the channel for daily Call of Duty Mobile videos. Now let's get into it and start with Season 4 because Season 3 Battle Pass is about to end. Eight days remaining, and they announced one or two days ago, the they teased the Season 4 with this image right here. Season 4 is coming, the legend returns, and Soap McTavish on the thumbnail is not new. It was teased even before Season 3. Some guys or some leakers were thinking it was going to be in Season 3, but apparently it's going to be in Season 4, and now it's confirmed. Also, Season 4 release date apparently is going to be March 1st. You see behind the title, The Legend Returns, it says 0103, so March 1st. And once again, this is a Garena teaser, but usually Garena and Global, the Season Pass, uh, Battle Pass are pretty much the same, and the dates are also pretty much the same sometimes it's like one day before they get some stuff and we get it the next day but still we can expect season four in about eight days right after the season three ends uh season four should start however we still have a bit of confusion and it was not addressed yet when is the rank reset for rank multiplayer rank battle royale that is still not cleared they talk about it on Twitter and they said mid-March probably, but they didn't even have an official date. So expect a few more weeks for that one. The weird thing though is on the clan season, it still says 38 days. That would be the end of March. So I don't know if the rank season is tied to the clan season. It wouldn't make sense, but it's very weird. Like if we have season reset, like the, the battle pass season reset on March 1st, then the rank reset on 14 or 15 and then the clan reset on end of March like that that would be really weird in my opinion but anyways let's go to the next topic guys about the battle pass for season 4 and the future and the free weapons versus the paid weapons now as you guys know their biggest way to monetize the game right now is adding new weapons that are not available for free and putting them into crates or stuff like that, uh, lucky draws even, like the Razorback, but also the Locust previously, the ICR one was like that, and then much later, they add them for free through events or rank, rank seasons that you can grind, or you can buy straight in the credit shops like the ICR one. Now, they have a lot of feedback about that. A lot of members of the community would like that when they release a new weapon it should be released for free at the same time well they address that topic and they said they don't intend to change but they intend to modify the way they do it so the thing is people want everything at the same time understandable for sure now what they said is they don't plan on removing the paid options they will keep releasing new weapons uh with money or in crates or lucky draws and stuff but starting in april so not season four but the next battle pass season five battle pass they will start putting the new weapons or variants of them like a new skin through the free to play battle pass so this would be the top row when you don't buy the battle pass you will have a way to earn these new weapons so let's say in season five we could see a razorback at the end with a different skin it's not going to be the razorback cosmos or the Razorback Dark Matter, but whatever the skin's gonna be for that season, like this season it was Irradiated Amethyst and another one, well maybe we would have got uh, Irradiated Amethyst Razorback this season, for example. So they're gonna start that in April season five, because what they said is, they, like the next season starting next week, they cannot change the battle pass one week ahead, it's probably already finished, the guns are probably already made, so they cannot, like just change direction one week before the new release but for next season they said they will try to find a way to give us a new weapon for free uh, it could be the credit store it could be a grindable one uh, a special event or something that you have to collect stuff so there are other ways to give us free weapons it's not just in the battle pass now about the credit store they also made a statement yesterday they said 
they plan to update their credit store once a month. Every month we should have new stuff in their credit store. So that is also good news. What they said is they plan to update the store with new weapons, grindable crates, but also they keep adding a new operator skills or score streaks or whatever you missed in events. Uh, but yeah, that was new. The golden tickets that you can grind, buy a few tickets every day and get some crates at the end of the week. So I think that was a pretty cool addition for the players that have a lot of credits, you know? So good news and bad news at the same time. Yes, they will update the credit store more frequently. Yes, they will give us the free weapons that they added for crates only. Uh, they will be added in the free to play season pass. So that's a good news. The bad news is they don't intend to change their practice. They will keep adding new weapons for money and then later put them for free. So there's no way around this guys, but it's still like, I don't know, mid middle grounds or something. They listen to the community. They will make a change very, very soon. Now about the game modes, the maps, the features, they say they want to keep adding a new multiplayer map every month and we will get the cage map March 1st. They officially announced that March 1st, we're getting the cage map and it's a brand new map never seen before in other Call of Duty games. Now about the game modes, also a lot of people in the community would like to see some game mode changed in ranked multiplayer. Some guys would like to see team that match removed and would like to see hard point being permanent. Now what they say about that is they cannot say yes every time some people make a petition on Reddit or something because not everyone agrees. Even if there's like 200 players uh, upvoting the thread, like 200 players does not represent the whole player base. So what they say is if you really like a game mode, well, when they add something, play it, play it, play, it, play a lot and play with your friends because they look at the data, the analytics. And if they add a game mode and they see the players don't even play it that much. Well, they're not gonna make it permanent and they're not gonna add it to rank. Now, personally, I'm not in favor of that idea to put hard point in rank. I know a lot of players want it, but in my opinion, the, the objective games that you have to work as a team, uh, it kind of sucks for, for most of the players because not everyone play as a team always. You know, some guys like to queue with randoms and they don't use the mic sometimes. Uh, so yeah, it's very hard to win these objective games and we have domination already is the most frustrating game mode for me I think playing with randoms. So having domination and hard point in the rank playlist I think it would be it would be very bad. I'm not a big fan now next topic is the platform on battle royale This was added not long ago and there was also a lot of feedback about it guys a lot of people were very disappointed everyone was expecting a huge event alien invasion defend your world all that and then suddenly it was just it was just a platform with loot and you can land on it or not and you can go on it but there's nothing there's no event it's just uh yeah it's just a platform so they kind of apologize about it they said their job is to add new stuff and kind of like tease it so players are excited about it but they did not expect the community to expect something as big and then everyone was disappointed so anyways they said they buffed the loot now if you guys go back and check the loot it should be better now now about the battle royale map guys there's a lot of questions about are we gonna have a new battle royale map or a second one and the bad news guys they addressed the issue and they said they don't plan to have a second map in the near future. So guys, don't expect a new Battle Royale map. What they said is they wanna keep changing some areas of the map and bringing and removing some features, but don't expect a new map anytime soon. I know there was a map leak before being in the game files called Chernobyl, but like it's the leakers. They take stuff from the game, they show it to us. But it's not Activision and Activision did not make a statement about that. So people are expecting stuff that is not supposed to happen anytime soon. And that's why some players are frustrated because they have like false expectations maybe. So that's pretty much it for this week's news. Now, once again, big news for the season four, season five battle pass. Season four will not contain a new weapon, but they will try to give us a new weapon other way. Like maybe grindable or credit store other good news the credit store will be updated every month and once again starting in season five 
we can expect Paid Weapon to be added in the free-to-play Battle Pass every season starting in April. So that's good news, guys. And then once again, no new map for Battle Royale, neither in Season 4 and probably not in Season 5. So bad news for Battle Royale players, but once again, that's the official word at least, and now we know, so you know what to expect. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a comment below what you think about all that. Is it good overall or bad overall? I feel it's pretty decent for real. And once again, like we cannot expect to not have them trying to monetize their game as long as it's fair for everyone. And about the game being free to play or pay to win. Well, you know what I think already about that. I got legendary yesterday using all free to play skins, all free to play weapons. And I did it. I I did good. And I don't feel like the paid weapon or pay to win. So I already talk about that multiple times. And my opinion is not about to change. Unless they really add a pay to win weapon to the game. I don't think they will do it. They can always balance later when it's free for everyone. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.